Hi, this is Kung Nguyen. Today, I'm gonna show you another video about using fixative for my pastel. My last video, I'm showing, I'm spraying my uh, the fixative on my pastel, and I have received uh, many uh, feedback and uh, questions about using fixative. And some people asking why I'm still using fixative. Uh, and some of my students uh, even send me message and say, Kung. I do remember at the workshop, you say you don't use fixative. Uh, well, the answer is yes and no. Um, for example, this is uh, a portrait of James. I only draw the face, no background. And I know this work not gonna travel. So I'm just simple frame it and hang it in my studio. I didn't use fixative for this. Make sense? And then for this one, current is on my easel right now. I use um, a lot of uh, um, soft pastel for the backgrounds. And this work, I just got the good news and it's selected to the international show in Shuzhou, China in October. So it means I have to use fixed stuff because it's gonna be trouble. Um, so I'm gonna use more fixed on the backgrounds, less on her face. Does that make sense? All right, so I have a little part of the hair I need to work on. I'm gonna finish it today. Then I'm gonna show you how to um, use fixative. Again, uh, we have to bring them outside later today. And uh, I also uh, show you how to pack uh, pastel when you carry on with you uh, for traveling or you can put them inside your luggage. All right, so let's finish this work and uh, I will show you how do you fix it later today. This is in my backyard and I bring the painting outside uh, because you cannot use fixative indoor. It's dangerous for your health, okay? I mentioned it many times, uh, you, when you do a fixative, you want to spray your work, you have to bring your painting outside, okay? Again, the product I'm using is from Kryland. Workable fixative, it means you can uh, use fixative in between you can go back and work on it. Uh, from some this day, I'm spray in the end when my painting are already finished. Um, before you use it, you shake them, test somewhere. Okay. You know that I will uh, set back about three steps like this. Okay. And I'm gonna start spraying. Maybe one more time. But in this case, uh, because uh, I like to spray the background a little bit stronger than uh, her face, so I'm taking the board, spray them. And uh, that's about it. I hope that you learned some tips from me. Uh, again, it's important to not over spray your work. When you over spray your work, um, the color might change. Is uh, is might take you some time to fix it. Uh, so good luck, and I am looking forward to see you again in the next videos. Bye bye.